Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Count total bits in a number. The problem statement is given a positive number n, count total bits in it. For example, if input is 13, the output is 4. If you look at the binary presentation of 13, it has 4 bits, so the output is 4. Let's see how to solve this problem. The first method is to use logarithms. In the first step, we find the logarithm of n in base 2. In the second step, we add 1 to it. And this gives us the total number of bits in the given number. It is a quite straightforward approach. Let's understand this using an example. If n is equal to 27, then the log of 27 to the base 2 is 4.75. And then in the second step, we add 1 to it, and we get 5. If you look at the binary representation of 27, it is 5 bits. So the output is 5. Let's take another example. If n is equal to 16, then logarithm of 16 to the base 2 is 4.0. Taking only the integer part, in the second step, we add 1 to it and we get 5. If we look at the binary representation of 16, it has got 5 bits. Let's see the code for this. Inside the main function, we call count bits function and pass the value of num to it. Here inside count bits function, first we find logarithm of the number to the base 2 and add 1 to it and simply return the value which is equivalent to the number of bits on the given number. Let's see another approach. In the second approach, we are going to use bitwise traversal. Let's see the code for it. Here inside the main function, we call countBits function and pass the value of 5 to it. Inside the countBits function, we initialize the variable count with value 0. It counts the number of bits in n. And then, we enter the while loop. In each iteration, we increment count by 1 and right shift n by 1, which is equivalent to dividing n by 2. This loop runs as long as n is not equivalent to 0. Let's understand this using an example. If n is equal to 27, then this is the binary representation of 27. We enter the loop. In the first iteration, we check if n is not equivalent to 0, which is true. So we increment the value of count and it becomes 1. And then we write shift n by 1 and we get this binary sequence. Now in the second iteration, we again check if n is not equivalent to 0, which is true. So we again increment count by 1 and it becomes 2. And then we write shift n by 1 and so on. We continue doing this until in the last iteration when count value is 5 and n becomes 0, we exit the loop. After exiting the loop, we simply return the value of count. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.